Greetings from St. Francis, another Wednesday as we gather together to pray, to, to join together praising God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And we take a moment to connect with God. Where two or three are gathered, God is with them. You know, let us turn to God, to his love and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call us sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And you plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O God, who... By, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive through freedom and an everlasting inheritance. And we make those prayers through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, in regard to virgins, I have no commandment from the Lord, but I give my opinion as one who by the Lord's mercy is trustworthy. So this is what I think best because of the present distress, that it is a good thing for a person to remain as he is. Are you bound to a wife? Do not seek a separation. Are you free of a wife? then do not look for a wife. If you marry, however, you do not sin, nor does an unmarried woman sin if she marries. But such people will experience affliction in their earthly life, and I would like to spare you that. I tell you, brothers, the time is running out. From now on, let those having wives act as not having them, those weeping as not weeping, those rejoicing as not rejoicing, those buying as not owning, those using the wor world as not using it fully, for the world in its present form is passing away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response, listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. Listen, listen to, to me, daughter, daughter see, see and bend your ear. Hear, hear O oh daughter, and see. Turn your ear, forget, forget your people and your father's house. So shall the king desire your beauty, for he is your Lord and you must worship him. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. All glorious is the king's daughter as she enters. Her raiment is threaded with spun gold. In embroidered apparel, she is borne in to the king. Behind her, the virgins of her train are brought to you. Listen, Listen to me, to daughter, daughter, see, see and bend your ear. ear. They are born in with gladness and joy. They enter the palace of the king, the place of your fathers, your sons shall have. You shall make them princes through all the land. Listen, Listen to, to me, daughter, daughter see, see and bend, bend your ear. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. God in my mind, my lips in my heart. Raising his eyes towards his disciples, Jesus said, Blessed are you who are poor, for the kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who are hungry, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who are now weeping, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you and when they exalt and insult you and denounce your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. 
Rejoice and leap for joy on that day. Behold, your reward will be great in heaven, for their ancestors treated the prophets in the same way. But woe to you who are rich, for you have received your consolation. But woe to you who are filled now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will grieve and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for their ancestors treated the false prophets in this way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You know, I think when you hear those uh, Beatitudes uh, from St. Luke's Gospel and, uh, and all those kind of warnings, I, I think what, what comes to mind that in life, uh, you know, I think one aspect of, of looking at it, especially since we have the warnings, then we have, uh, you know, the, the, the blessings in that sense. Uh, I think one, one way of looking at it is, is, is that, you know, when you talk about life, it's always ups and downs. You know, there is, there is a lot of different things that's happening. And, uh, and I think for us to realize the blessing, sometimes, you know, you know, we also need to experience difficulties in life, you know, to, to be able to distinguish, distinguish, distinguish between, you know, uh, those blessings and, and challenges. I, I, I think, you know, uh, that's how life really is. And, and so, you know, no matter where we are, you know, in, in, in our situations, I think, I think it's, it's always important to, to, to stop and, 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 and evaluate, you know? You know, are we appreciating the blessings? Are we aware of the blessings in our lives? I think it's so important that we don't just simply take things for granted. And if we are on the other end, you know, if we are on the other end, you know, are, are we allowing, you know, the, the riches, the, the beauty, uh, the pleasures of life to take over our lives? Maybe there is some, some adjustment uh, that, are, that are needed there, you know, f for us, you know, to be able to live a, a life filled with grace and closer to God. So no matter where you are, what you're going through, it's always important to stop for a moment, to reflect on your life and to evaluate. I really encourage you to do so today. And after reflecting on scripture, we continue our prayers and present our petitions to God. And so we pray first for the church, for people of faith around the world, along with our shepherds, Pope Francis and Bishop Blaise, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our country, for the president, for those in authority on national and local levels. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our brothers and sisters in need, for those dear to us who need our prayers, for those who are dealing with health issues, maybe COVID even, and those who care for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who have died, for our loved ones who passed away, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all our intentions, those we hold in our hearts, you know, we pray for ourselves and all our petitions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And all our prayers, all those we present to God and ask through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite heart. Wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. 
and pray, sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all God's holy church. O Lord, who gain for yourself a people by adoption, though through the one sacrifice offered once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you, Lord, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the found of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The brothers and sisters, the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Blaise, our Bishop, and all who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, apostles, and all the saints, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And friends, together we pray in the words Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, 
who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And friends, let us offer each other that sign of peace. Peace be with you, peace, and God bless. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. The brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we called to his table. Lord, I am not worthy. That you and should enter under my, my roof, but only, only say the word, word my, my soul, soul shall be healed. healed. And let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray the healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Stay well and God bless.